All right, well, day off from work. Trying to get a lot done. Take advantage of this. We're getting a little busy, so trying to keep things moving forward and um, doing reasonably good. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, just check on my list. So, um, a lot going on, but uh, I'll give a quick update and then I, I may do a longer one later. So, I put in the extra supports to be able to pull this bed out so it ends up being a double. So it just slides out. And this stays back there. And now I've got a double bed. What's nice about this is this actually lined up very nicely with the cabinets over here. So that worked out pretty good. So pretty uh, pleased with that. I actually uh, did some extra reinforcement on the bed. I added some additional beams under here because it was a little soft, but with those beams in there, it's actually quite uh, sturdy. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. So what else did I get done? Uh, I added in some more wiring for some more lights that will go down under the sink and that's no easy feat just uh routing them around but i think with that i have all my wiring done um i've got my extra cable here this will go to an eventual water pump that's hooked up to the battery as well so that's all set and Trying to think of which switch is controlling that. I just forgot and I gotta, I gotta go back and double check uh, which switch that is on. I think that's one of my switches up here. It will be the uh, water pump. I think it's that one right there. But I gotta double check. Um, all right, so then I have moved with all the wiring done. That's allowed me to come out and put some insulation on. Man, that's not an easy job. Uh, I need three quarter inch insulation and the insulation comes in uh, for two and a half, three inch thickness. And what you have to do is pull it apart in layers uh, to be able to get the three quarter inch. I'm gonna cut that down a little bit there. And uh, then I'm using some contact spray to put it in there. So it holds uh, pretty good. So I do have the panel up of course it's temporary everything I do I do at least twice but this is looking pretty good and I, you can see I actually put a window in this is the window that goes up uh, does match up with this uh, side and I lined up the holes and that fits nicely and I checked my pictures as best I could and this is actually sitting and about the right spot i'm feeling pretty good about where that's at now what i need to do here is i need to build up that curbing okay so that's what goes on uh here is are those multiple layers of uh one eighth and one quarter inch plywood now i also did put up the lower panel on the back but then i quickly realized oh i need to put up the vapor barrier so I need to uh, get that. I ordered that and that will come and then I'll put the vapor barrier up. Vapor barrier up. I'm going to take this down, put the vapor barrier up underneath that. And then uh, I'm actually move along pretty good. And I am starting to uh, really look at the front a little bit more now that this is starting to come together. And I'm working with a couple of the original pieces that held the front together and i'm gonna to have to rebuild this part right here which would have been the shelf so i'll do that i'll rebuild that in just a bit but once i rebuild that i can uh, attach that and then uh do the paneling it's a full sheet that goes uh right there 
and then down in the middle here is where the front window will be and then uh, a couple smaller pieces of paneling oh and i put in the uh, propane lantern i did run the propane up the side now what i did is i put some sheet metal over each of these grooves that i had to uh, channel out i used a router to do that and if you remember uh this is actually an original piece right here this part got pretty rotted and this was all rotted so i had to replace all that as well as this board up here so this time i went ahead and just put some uh extra sheet metal i stapled them down with three quarter inch long um staples that's gonna be nice because one i'll prevent myself from stapling into that from the outside if I need to. I do the same thing on the wires. I'm putting um, covering over anywhere where the wires are going in the board and that will help me avoid screwing into into uh, one of my wires. Okay, that's my break. I need to get back to work. I'm gonna try to get the fiberglass going on this side and then uh, maybe rebuild this piece down here so I can get that ready uh, to go up. Okay, that's it.